Hello everyone, this is Anton and in today's video I want to get into an application I recently stumbled upon Dawn called Thunk. So I went and signed up for this particular note taking application and after doing you know a little bit of playing around with it I thunk that I should do a review. So let's get into this app real quick. You know, simply put, this is basically a note taking app. It does offer, you know, some really nice features that comes with it. It's not as feature rich as some of the other solutions that are probably out there uh, in comparison to something like Obsidian, which of course has a large community around it with plugins. This is a fairly new note taking app that's out so it's you know hitting the ground running i do like the interface it's really simple uh the minimalist the minimalist look and feel of the app is really nice so right now we have this today note so it does have this daily note focus you can create notes from the daily note um, if if you like to so you can see here we're underneath recent notes i have different notes that I've created outside of the daily note. If we come in here, you have just the slash command that you can do, which brings up, you know, a different, a bunch of different things where you can either set headings, you can create lists and have to do lists, uh, bullet lists with numbers and uh, bullet lists with the dots. You can go back and you also can set up either code blocks or quotes. You can add media images in here. Uh, you can also insert templates. So you can create your own templates and then you can have those set up. I'll show some of that there. You can set up the, the uh, paragraph formatting. There is an integration with Twitter, which I thought was pretty nice. I saw it on the website. I have not connected my Twitter account to this yet, but it does look to allow you to post to Twitter um, so as you're creating notes, you can actually post to Twitter from this application. And then they have this really nice focus mode going on here. So let's go ahead and look at uh, maybe one of the other notes that I've created here. See if I have one with some content in it. So here's one with content in it. This is one of the daily notes. You can see it changed from today to yesterday. If we want to set up a heading, we can either select and then do some of the formatting options that you might want to. Here are some of the typical ones where you can bold, italicize, strike through, etc. And or you can come in here and you can create headings uh, with these particular blocks, either heading one through three, as they show here. We can go ahead and select, you know, a group of text. Right here we do have a group of text which are in a to-do list. Uh, format here where you can just check things off. Now one thing to note here and I have raised this with the, uh, the actual developer team is that this you know each one of these to-do lists are placed into one block which makes it a little hard to say grab one of these to-do lists and then reorganize them but um, I did get word that they they are looking to change that and break it out to where this these items are actually in their own block and let me see if i go like this here that's the same for the other bullet list as well not just a to do the to do one let's select all of those change these to a numbered list so you can see the functionality there if i want to go ahead and grab this list you can kind of see these three dots sitting here on the side you can take that you can grab it and then you can move things around as you like so that's pretty nice and yeah the the formatting note capabilities are pretty typical to what you would see in you know other apps let me go in here and change this one here to a quote so if we decorate it there we change that to a a quote it just puts the line there and then does the proper formatting now it does not support uh, markdown I have tried to take markdown and just copy paste it in here it does not recognize markdown off the bat 
Um, so that is one thing I think um, I'm going to mention to the developers. Uh, they, they have been very responsive and have actually been fixing some of the things that I've seen right off the bat. So if we open up the sidebar, we do have a couple of different tabs in this sidebar. We have the links tab and we also have the to do. So these are actually pretty nice to have these here right in the corner available to you. So let me actually create some to, to do's here. We'll go ahead and change this from a numbered list to a to do list. And if we go over here, we'll see the to do's. We can also see the to do's that are in other notes. So it does aggregate all of the to do's from um, all the notes that are in your, your vault here into this one view. I do think this is nice so you don't have to actually go hunting down where you have different to-do items in your different notes. So this is a pretty useful, useful tab here. Now, one thing to note is that the, the actual formatting of the text, you can see here, it's pretty big and they, they have really large spaces in between the different elements. So, but again, that should be easily fixed. Is something I've raised with the developers. And it, it, it would be nice to see how they improve the, the look and feel of this particular pane with the to-do items. So in this links pane, we'll kind of show how this works. It works a little bit different than what you might be used to in something like Obsidian. So, it, you know, it, just for comparison's sake, if I'm in Obsidian, I'm in this note and there are links to other documents, then those links would show up here. So let's maybe go into, let me go into the calendar here. I wanna link back to this other note on the 19th. So right now, when, we, when we're looking at this here, we can show that at the bottom, there are uh, two links to this note, right? So we, we have notes linking to this note. We can see those. But here on the side, these links are specific to what you kind of click on in your in your actual note that you're in. So you see when I click on the, the block here, it shows almost like a preview uh, that you would get maybe in another app. It actually brings that note up, you know, for the time that you have it selected on this line here on the side. So here, if I select on the today, you can see that one. And if I select this other one here, you can see that as well. Now, if I pin that note, we can see that if I click off now, it is it stays in place, which is pretty nice. So if you want the actual linked document to always show up here on the side, then you can go ahead and pin that. You can go to the top here. You can pin all or remove all. So here I have all of the link notes pinned. And if I unselect that, then they go away until I actually select those. You can star notes. So if I star this one here, we can see it comes underneath the, the favor favorites. You can share notes. So here I've already shared this, this note. If I unshare it there, click this share icon, it creates a link. And you see it, it showed that I copied that link to this particular document. So the links are read only. So if you send that out and someone goes to view it from that link, it is only read only. And you can go ahead and click this link again to unshare. We have the little three dots here where we can open the card menu. And from here, you can either delete this note, you can still add it to favorite, and you can also share from here as well. A few other things to note here with the notes is that you can create templates. So let's say I want this particular format as a template. I can come in here and select this as new template, give it a name, and it creates this, this new template. So if we go into the templates area, we have this new template now available to us. I can also come in here and select one of the defaults they have set up and collect, add those to your template area. And if I go into a note, let me go ahead and 
click into a note, give it a name. And if I want to use a template here, I can go insert template and then I can choose one of the templates that I want to use from my template area. And then it will go ahead and populate it just like you would expect a template to do. Another cool thing with this app is it does have the, the map, the map feature. So when you click on Explorer, you can see where you have your, your different notes in here and zoom in by scrolling and you can move things around. I do like the, the actual view here. The line gets thicker when you select a note between the different other nodes that are connected to it. And when you deselect it, it actually uh, shrinks the size of those, those lines or those connections to the other notes. So when you hover over it and collect it, you can see what everything is connected to these notes. From here, you can do some filtering of the different notes where you can turn off daily notes. You can add daily notes, um, different orphans. You can have those in there or not. So I have this one orphan note with no connections. You can remove those. And then you have here where you can just see your favorites. From here, you can also search. So if we go ahead and search for a keyword, the notes with that word in it will show up. So this is pretty nice. You can also search from the sidebar as well. So let's uh, remove this here. Maybe we go to today we, and we want to do a search. I can do focus and we can see that a list comes up that shows us um, all the notes with focus in the name, but also within the actual note itself. So this one's a, a little bit more, uh, I guess, ro robust search than the one that was in the map, which only gave us the the note with the actual search item in the name. This one here gives it to us in the name or within the content of the note. Just a couple other items here to point out. So you can go into the settings right now where we're in the, the light theme. If you go into the settings, there is actually a dark theme mode where you can change the theme to dark. And the dark mode is actually not too bad. If we come in here, it does get a little hard if you're looking at the map, at the map here. Uh, but, you know, the, the items as you hover on them, they do kind of, you know, light up to show you what you're actually selecting on. Maybe it's just me and my old eyes, but the, the gray, the darker gray and, you know, the background being gray they're a little bit too close to the same color so they kind of blend in a little bit for me and then there's the calendar that you can select on the calendar here if you have not seen that you can come in here and you can actually select it so it goes directly to whichever day uh, daily note that you want it to go to and you do get the little dots on the dates that have notes on them all right so this was a quick glimpse into the Thunk note taking app. If you go to the website, they actually have a, a trial that you can start for free and it gives you 30 days. You will have to put in your credit card information in order to get the free trial, but they do give you 30 days. And if 30 days isn't enough for you to, to know whether you like the product or not, then I'm not sure uh, how long it would be. Uh, this is one of the longest trial periods I've seen on any of the different apps that are out there today. Okay, so that is it for this video. My name is Anton. If you found the information in this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And until the next time, have a nice day.